The homecomings continue this week as more soldiers return home from Herrick 16. This time round, it's the turn of cavalry troops from Tidworth Base, the King's Royal Hussars. Shirley Swain was there. It's been a long summer for the families of KRH, but finally today, their wait is over. The soldiers from Sea Squadron have spent the last six months mentoring the Afghan Uniform Police in the Babaji area of Halmand province, a region which, up until two years ago, was in the hands of the Taliban. Definitely making a difference out there. And he was especially like he was saying there about the AMP taking a lead, Will it, are willing to learn as well. They are very keen out there to learn. Despite searing summer temperatures, they worked tirelessly and together with the Afghans to secure a safer and brighter future for its population. Everyone recognises that we achieved what we needed to achieve, which was fantastic. Uh, and we did so uh, with a great amount of professionalism from all of the soldiers. We really did apply ourselves throughout the tour, didn't let our guard down once. And that I'm so proud of everybody in the squadron for achieving. And there were some special reunions too. And the baby there, have you seen the baby before? No, no it's the first time. Oh, wow. First time, so yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Yes, it's, it's What's his really name? Good. His name's Leo. Leo Potter. These soldiers have a lot to be proud of, but today they put the transition of Afghanistan to the back of their minds and now look forward to some well-deserved post-operational leave with their families. Shirley Swain, Forces News, Tidworth.